All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And today we were going to talk about power. Nuclear power. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. So, a couple things to show you. Um, I tried pre-filming parts of this, which utterly failed, so uh, <laughs> take care of that. So, look at that. We have a secret button. It's just a command block with a teleport command. Um, there it is right there. Teleport command. Cool. And where does it take me? <gasps> up to the, up to the factory. Look at this, I found a new mod. This is the Wheeled Light mod. And a link will be in the description. I've always wanted a flashlight. I saw it in Technic, either Technic or Misicons a long time ago, but it, it never worked. So this, it adds a little bit of lag, but it is very cool. Any light source that you can, that you can hold. So if I go in and get a torch, um... If I could spell torch, even the torch will give you a light source. Medieval. Cool. And there's the other button that brings me back to my, um, my secret dressing room. There we go. So what we are going to do is take a look at different forms of power. Now, to move this along because we have a lot of stuff to cover here. There are there are different there are different forms of power, and in real life, and mind test uh, follows that. So let's go back to the daytime. And this is really cool. These are standoffs or isolators, uh, insulator cable clip. I finally figured out how to use them. Yes, I did. I am lagging big time. This is my high voltage solar array. Each solar panel is 5,000 energy units. And I have them all linked together and with high voltage cable. So it acts on the sun, obviously, because it's solar. And I have another solar panel over here for the other mine. And this is a medium voltage solar panel powering the, me the uh, medium voltage equipment. So it comes down here, obviously. It goes into a battery bank. There's a switching station. I had to move my switching stations around because of, I had too many that appeared. So you come down with the high voltage. It goes into a supply converter. The high voltage feeds these high voltage battery banks. And the medium voltage is fed from the su supply converter, which down converts it to a more usable voltage for the machines, the grinder, the furnaces, um, here's switching station, uh, the battery boxes in here we have for the, um, oh, the uranium, the centrifuge, which I'm still having a problem trying to figure out my, my different fizzle uranium dust levels. I'm getting there. So the medium voltage powers all that. So we come back out here. And we're going to go out, of course, what would a video of mine be without going through trees, as usual. Now we're back down here. So, let's take a look at this real quick. And it's really cool, because that's the solar. So what, you, what you're going to do with the solar is you're going to balance it to the point where you have enough battery boxes that during the night, the battery boxes will take over and you'll never lose power. See, I, I already have a switching station present. I could actually get rid of that. So we have backup generators. We have, you know, a fuel fire generator in here that runs off of coal. And as you can see, it's nighttime out, yet the battery boxes aren't depleting. Why, you may ask? Because I have nuclear. Look at that. We have... Those insulated cable clips, I can't, I don't understand why I didn't figure those out a long time ago. 
they make real cool you know you can stand it up and insulate from your high voltage cable just make everything look more realistic yeah so we are going to go down 183 blocks to the basement yes and i have set up a nuclear power plant and i'm going to build one real quick then we're going to destroy one which i which utterly failed in my first attempt so there's my quarry i have them disabled right now because i'm lagging is this one yeah this one's disabled so most of this is just built for show um we come up here Ooh, spooky around some lights there she is look at that a nuclear wessel <laughs> yeah all right this is where we're going to build nuclear vessel number two so what it is you have uh i found i found two different recipes for building this you have concrete blast resistant concrete stainless steel well let's go get this stuff real quick all right, I'm gonna need that. So I wanna put that there. Um, mm, I need that, I need that. Turn it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We have stone, we have gray light source, we have lead block, um, because I get a little creative. We have uh, blast resistant concrete. We have concrete block all from Technics. So we have concrete block, blast resistant concrete block. Mine looks different because I have textured it differently. Stainless steel block, lead block, stone, and assortment of other real cool things. We are also going to need a water source. Yes, we will. Put that over here so we don't flood everything. Now, how this works is you need a nine by nine square nine by nine by nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah two three four five six seven eight yes i know how to count wow Now watch it all be off. That would be so funny. It took all this time to count and it's off. So um, what we are going to do is we are first going to use our, we are going to make a nine by nine box. You know what? I should have done this the easy way. Why not? So we're not counting these two standoffs and I'll tell you why in a second. One, two. You need like an, it, it, it says you need an air gap. So yeah, we're going to do this the easy way because um, if you don't have world edit, well, you kind of need it. We're going to, well, to, to do anything quickly. So we're going to stack this eight and it should stack to the other side. Very nice. And then we are going to, I don't know if it's going to let me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We are going to create our walls real quickly. Oop. Gotta love. Gotta love it. And what this, this is the, this is the start of it. And let's finish this up. See how much faster that is? I really love using that. I don't know why. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, there usually is like an air gap. And if I do this, I think I only have to do seven. One, two. Yeah, I should only have to do seven. Everything else is going to be real easy. Be, uh, uh, I can't see anything in here. 
Even with the lights, I can't see anything in here. What's the deal? So as I mess around with this, how's everybody doing? We're actually in the 40s in Chicago, which is really cool. Yeah. So we are going to need a center point. That's going to be our center point. Why not? That goes down to the bottom. One, two, one, two, three, four. That is not my center point. Three, four. <laughs> yes. Look for the union label. There we go. We are in the center. Yeah. Okay, so we have our nine high. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. We need nine by nine by nine. Okay, yeah, that, that works out fine. Then we will switch to the blast resistant concrete. And it needs it. We'll go one down. Now you can only leave out enough um a blocks for the um we need the high voltage cable and we also need an inspection this mouse somebody sponsor me man i need mouses i need computers servers i need everything just the, just just the fact that this is running is a miracle because i what i did was i use and i'm going to show you how I did it. I did world edit and I copied my, um, I copied this whole thing and I put it out in the test world to simulate what happens during a nuclear meltdown. And I really don't want, I really don't want to do it on this world. However, I do have a, I do have a backup. So Always make a backup if you're going to do anything dramatic because this will create a lot of radiation. Yeah, you know, I could use World Edit in here, but you get to watch me build. Yes, I'm a slow builder. This is going to be a, a three hour video. We're almost done. If I can quit making mistakes and placing my blocks. Yeah. So. You need you need an outer shell of conc of the concrete block. You need the inner shell of blast resistant concrete. My concrete looks different than your concrete because I am I retextured it. So we have that, and we are one down because that top lip is going to be our concrete block. Now we move to our. I've seen people use lead. However, the original. Um, the original recipe calls for stainless steel. So I am going to follow the original recipe because somebody was making a, a note that if you try building this in survival, um, it's very, very expensive. Yes, it is because of stainless steel and everything else. I'll, I'll be honest with you in, if you're going to build this in survival, good luck. I'm sure people have. Well, I know people have. Um, the problem is, it, this is a very, very expensive machine. All right. So we have our stainless steel block and the inner core, yeah, three, three by three by three is going to be filled with water. So what we are going to do now is I need my high voltage cable. And there are a couple different, um, there are a couple different, I have to concentrate on doing this. So HV reactor, we need this HV reactor core. Yeah, we do. And that will sit in the middle, hopefully. And it's not. 
So let's put it in the middle. Put a cheater block and put it in the middle. And it should have connected up. I apologize for the lighting. There's nothing I could. Yes, I can. Put one right there. Now, so we have our we have our reactor core with no network. And now we are going to fill with water. So we need this full. I was watching, there's a couple other videos on this. And if you are standing in the water, you will cause that block to be displaced. And this will melt down. <laughs> so <laughs> we are going to um, finish this off. We have our stainless steel top. With our inspection hole, we have our blast resistant concrete. I am still cannot figure out how to make uranium, uh, the, the uranium rods quickly and easily. So now we have that. We are going to put in our, our concrete block. And just for safety, because like I said, this will cause you damage. And that's another thing. So I, I don't think there's lead armor. However, I have, I have diamond armor on. All right, so this should be dead center. And it is. We are going to put another layer so we can actually work on top of this thing in lead. And what I wanted, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to encase everything. So this, this does serve a purpose. Now, the one thing I was reading on the wiki for um, Technics, and I apologize for the fan noise, this little Mac. It, I'm just abusing the living daylights out of this Mac. Plus, my world is so huge now that when everything, when all the ABMs start running, everything else, yeah, it gets kind of, um, you can see the lag. We're just going to put this up here. I, you know what, I want, I like role playing everything. So, this is going to be the safe, safety rails. Because you know what? Why not? If you go big or go home. Yeah. I like my I like the design that I, I came up with. We are going to put some stairs on here real quick. Then we are going to power this thing up, connect it to the other one, and we will be done with it. So in real life, I love the idea of solar energy. Because you take a source, and by no means... Is this any kind of preachy video or anything else about the pros and cons of nuclear power? Because everything has its place in the world. Um, this is a mind test game. Therefore, my opinions are going to be different from your opinions. Yes, they will. So, we are going to come down here real quick. And finish off the bottom here. What they, what they suggest is that a two-block gap. And when you come out of here with your uh, power cable, if you stand next to that hole, you'll get radiation because of the, the way that the radiation is going to shine down. And they call it shine. So we are going to put a little kink in here, use a cable clip. Well, that, that was worthless. We're going to come out. <sighs> Maybe not. It said to put a kink in it, but I want to use my cable clips. Where are my insulator clips? I love these things. I don't know why. I Like I said, I do not know why I did not know about these. These are so cool. Because why not? To make everything just to make everything that much more realistic. 
if I put them in the correct place, that would even be, that would even be better. So it comes through here. We are going to come through there. I might have to figure that out. There we go. And we are going to connect these up. Isn't that cool? I love that. I think it just it, it just adds to that much more. So this one we're going to do a little little bit differently because I want to put a stair there. I need one here. I want to. I'm trying to get this done because we have to power this thing up, and I don't want to waste any time. And the mistake, I'm making the mistake again, however, yeah, I don't care. So what's going to happen is when this puppy does power up, um, yeah, you'll get, you'll see how the uh, damage, how the damage will hurt you. And I don't like, I kind of don't like that because there should be a way of something's not right. Why didn't that do what I want? Oh, duh. There should be a way of isolating this to the point of, uh, come on, there we go. Yes, yes, I know about the letters. There we go. So we have our, she's built and I'll beautify this off camera, but there you have it. So let's go power this puppy and you will see now each one of these nuclear reactors will last about a week. It says in the, um, On the, uh, what do you call it? On the wiki page. Duh. It will last a, a, about a week time. So I am adding these lead blocks here just to protect, protect the player because occupational hazards, health and safety. Yes. We are health and safety minded um, company. So there. All right, that looks cool. There you have it. There is a a built nuclear reactor. Let's go power it up. So for powering, we need um uranium rods. And I should have spelled that correctly. There we are. There they are. Uranium rods. I, where is that from? That is from. Let's see. Chernobyl dust. There. Technic. All this stuff is in Technic. So let's go up and power our power uh, our little um, our thing. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to put a stone here because I want. It to role play. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. Right click on the reactor core. And we are going to put. You know, I should have done this the easy way. And just used. Um, so this is what we're going to do. The minute I start this thing up. It's going to. Um. Well, you'll see. It started. Nuclear reactor core zero percent. Why am I at zero? Uranium fuel. Oh, there we go. It's hurting me. Why is it showing zero? You know what? Ouch. That's not cool, man. Wait. Oh, I'm. St you see what I meant? I was standing in the, 
Holy cow, what is going on? Start successful. What's going on with this thing? I should have been there. No. Holy cow, it won't it, it's just it's killing me, man. Let's come out here. That's why I wanted to it, it suggests that you put a no um a no go zone. It's like no kidding. Because it, is if you're walking up the stairs, it will it will um irradiate you. So let's throw in our no-go zone real quick. So the, the whole deal with nuclear power, my only complaint with nuclear power is, yes, it's efficient, everything else in real life, is the waste. That's what bothers me the most about, about nuclear power, is what do you do with the waste? Therefore, you know, you, you, have, you have solar power, which now, barring that you have... Um, with solar power, you have you have to make the components. I, you know, I, I I understand that. So there's going to be a manufacturing process in making the components. But in the long run, it, it appears to me that you know it, it's going to be much um, cleaner. So once they figure out what they what they what they have to do with the new, you know, what, what you have to do with the waste because the nuclear waste lasts for thousands of years. I mean, can, can we launch it into the sun? Is that an idea? I mean, we have mountains filling up with nuclear waste. You know, and it's going to stay radioactive for thousands of years. So, like I said, this isn't like climbing on a soapbox or anything else like that. It's just the reality of the reality of it. So let's go see our reactor. I don't know why it says 0%. Let's go check out the other one. So we are, we are online. It is online. It, it, it will run unattended for a week. And the 400, uh, yeah, it said, it said one week worth of that. Let's see what this one says. 36%. Okay. See what happens. So there's our nuclear reactors. It looks cool. I mean, it's very intimidating. I wish there was, there could be like a gauge, some kind of gauge cluster or something like that. So I, obviously I am not going to um, damage my world here. But in the sake of science, we are going to copy this. Um, you know what? I did this mistake and I'm not going to make this mistake again. So let's go here and go get set region number two. Okay, now it, ca it captured everything. So what I did is I completely enclosed this in world edit. And now we are going to go back in, get, uh, not get set region. We are going to go to save load. And this is going to be nuclear reactor number one. Save. And world edit saved 896 nodes. And I'll show you what we are going to do with that. You are going to like it. Hit the like button if you like. If you like, if you like the like, hit the like button. Yeah. So there we have it. It's built. I have my lighting in. I have everything in. It looks really cool. Now, let's go take one apart. And I have my battery boxes set up. That is so cool. Turn out the lights. Very nice. Very nice. And to save on time, we are going to fly up. And there's my high voltage cable. So the whole thing is, is you, you, you need the high voltage to power everything. And as I shown with my, um, we're going the wrong way. Because this is going to damage the area. Now, the one thing that they did say is that the Chernobylite can be sort of neutralized with gravel, I guess. Um, other than the inspection hole and 
I'm trying to find a wooded area. Other than the inspection hole. Come on, load. I'm gonna waste more time. I need, I wanna find some trees. Hey, that looks good right there. So using, using an inspection hole and the place on top, so I want this, I want this semi near. I'm going to have major problems because this, this world is generating. This is a chunk that I haven't been in. So I, I, I think I'm going to have some problems here, but we, nevertheless. Yeah, look how much we're lagging. Nevertheless, let's see what happens when I try to load this in here. Okay. It's going to, we have to come out. We're going to come out to here. Wow. Okay, we are going to call this one. And we are going to allocate here to see what happens. Because what... What, what I have a feeling what's going to happen is when I, when I put this thing in, it is going to immediately go into a nuclear, nuclear meltdown. And I don't want that, but I want a tree next to it be, because you're going to see what happens to anything that is around, around this thing. It won't take that long. So let's go back here. What I really should do is is add another. That should do it. That should do it. Okay, so we are going to give this a one. We are going to load in, and if it doesn't work, well. I don't know what to tell you. I failed. Load. Look at that. Now let's get out of this before. Okay. Are we running? Let us add in. We are going to add in a, to show you that the, it is powered. You can see it glowing too, which is kind of cool. We're going to put a, a switching station in real quick. And uh, we're going to destroy this pound puppy. Get rid of that. I don't think I have any gravel. I will. Unbreakable gravel. Hmm. Cool. So what the, what the switching, the only reason why I'm putting in the switching station is that's going to show you that it's actually generating power. So let's put that in real quick and get on with this video. Look at that, 100,000 energy units. Hmm. I, I really do dislike um, destroying things that I've built, even in the... <laughs> Even in the uh, the the guise of science, because you know, yeah, we built. I built this. All right, so here we go. So, like I said, you can only we we have power. You can only have two holes in this thing. You're only allowed to miss so many blocks. We are running and it's still at the core is oh i think that has something to do with use all right so there we have that so let's let's get a little fancy here let's get in a um i wanted to do this Have too much stuff. I need I need more inventory space. 
So don't do this at home. I am a professional. You know what we are going to do is we are going to use a missile. We are going to take this pound puppy out with a missile. Come on. There we go. Sort of. First, we are going to use a mining laser. So the mining laser is really cool. Let's see what happens. Here we go, folks. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's what happens now. You only have so long to... Um... Oh, there comes... The... Oh, no. There comes a Chernobylite. Is this going to... This is going to screw up my server. Oh, it's flowing now. No, Mr. Sheep. You don't want to go there. Really. As you saw, I had to move because it was starting to kill me again. Let's get some health back. Okay, there's our Chernobylite. It is flowing. Hmm. Not starting anything on fire. Usually, what that will do... Oh, of course. Everything fails. It failed. It turned into Chernobylite, but it didn't... Generally, what it'll do is anything wood that's near here... This thing will start on fire, but all of a sudden, my server is... Um, yeah, it, it, it's borked. Okay, so we have no power supply left. Let's see what's going on here. It's radioactive. You can see. I don't know if that was bees. Wow. This whole area now. Hold on, wait a minute. What is... Uh-oh, I killed my world. Why? Why? Stop it. I have to figure something out here. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, it's flowing, but for whatever reason, it it won't, um, it's making my entire world, it's even hurting me all the way back here. Oh, I screwed up, man. You know what? You've made me angry now. Take that. It didn't do anything. There's some fire. So if you're playing this in survival and somebody really doesn't like you, they can take you out real quickly. And <laughs> we have a little problem with the Chernobylite here. You saw that um, it is really, no matter where I was, it made this whole area radioactive. Wow. I did not like that one bit. No, I did not. I really did not want to do that with, um, huh. I did not like that. That was not cool. So let's, uh, one, let's go over here. Let's see if we can world edit this stuff out of here. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. I think it did say somewhere that 
Yeah, look at that. We are still getting irradiated. I have to figure this out because even though I do have, I do have a backup world to go back to, that is not fun. I'll tell you one thing. I don't like that. I hope mine doesn't um, melt down. My, my world melt down. Get out of here, cow. Don't you see this? This is dangerous. <laughs> He's not doing it. So that's one of the other drawbacks of nuclear power is that we are going to do something cool here. Uh, the thing about nuclear power is uh, that it's very dangerous. That's the moral of the story there, kitties. And like I said, uh, oh, water, I did find, I did see that water will not um, put that out. So what we are going to do is we are going to go there and we are going to go over here. And we're going to set nodes as gravel to see if that will search, set nodes. Cool. Yeah, because I, I don't like, let's get some full apples here, get my health back up. Apparently, it appears that I have I have gotten rid of my nuclear radiation. Yeah. And one of the other videos I was watching, ooh, one of the other videos I was watching, they it, anything that was in the way of this Chernobylite material just started, just burst into flames. So I think my server was being a little bit overrun there. There you have it. Yeah, let's go back and find, um, <laughs> find, find my factory. Well, that was interesting. So that's what happens when, um, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to find my factory now. I'm probably going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. There we go. So that's what happens when the nuclear reactor hand grenades itself. And that's my command block to bring me, yeah, that's my command block to bring me back home. That is so cool. So a link to all the, the mods will be in the show notes. And uh, as usual, or at my website. Let's close this up. Turn off the lights. Cool. Go back downstairs here to our our nuclear power. That's the nuclear power station. So there's there's a lot of different uh, ways that you can power your machines. Um, one of the ways is solar. And, you know, there's no sense in building uh, the, the, there's low voltage solar array and medium voltage solar array, but if you're in survival mode, all you have to do is just go all out and build a high voltage one. And then you down convert it to use for your uh, low or medium voltage machines. And you can, um, you know, add some low voltage machines, as you see in my factory videos and you see... Uh, secret base videos, everything else. So we have nuclear vessel number one, nuclear vessel number two. We are creating 200,000 energy units. Yes, we are. And we have enough battery boxes in case something goes wrong. Or I have to take the nuclear reactors offline. And you, if when you right click on it, you can start and stop them. However, if you stop them, they will still be radioactive uh, uh, so yeah, there is that. Let's take the elevator back up and put a wrapper on this video. 
I was hoping that the nuclear meltdown would be a little more climatic, but <laughs> it was not. And anything in my videos, whenever I try to, to show off something in the videos, it fails. But that stuff doesn't. My blinky plant boxes. We are moving along nicely. So, yeah. There you have it. That's nuclear power. So, I also have... Um, there's, there's thermal... Uh, you can use thermal power. Where am I? That's a laser. Let's go back home here. All that, and all that is is with command blocks and with the teleport command in there because I was trying to look into digi lines come back out to my little patio area here uh, after a nice day of causing three mile island in uh, Chernobyl awesome so if you go back into technics um you know, obviously, there's all your stuff in there, your high voltage, your mining lasers, MK2, MK3. Uh, what else do we have in here? Let's see. Chromium source. Mm. There's also a geothermal uh, generator, which you can put down in mines. And that works pretty. Here's, here's the um, high voltage solar array, low voltage and medium voltage. And small solar LV generator. I don't think that's from Technic. I think that's from something else. Uh, hydro LV generator. Put in water. Hydro. I do use, that is a good option. If you have an underground spring or you have a water source, you could use that to power your machines. That is very cool. There's also another one here called geothermal. And I, I don't know where it is now. There's a fuel-fired grinder, furnace. Um, is it called Geo? Hmm. Type in Geo. Dungeon Stone. Geothermal low-voltage generator. There it is. Has no network. So, obviously, that's a hydro... And here's the geothermal, and I believe has no network. So this you're going to put down in a cave, and then you're going. This is uh, low voltage. You're going to use low voltage wiring, and this this one is also low voltage. So obviously this is going to be in water. Oh, you well you know what? Duh! Look at that. We have water right there. Uh, geothermal and hydro. Stick that in there. Has no network. I wonder, hmm, obviously it's got to go in the water, but that's going to be powered by water. So that's, you, you have water, you have geothermal, which is your heat, you know, your underground, you know, geothermal, um, yeah. And you have nuclear, you have solar. Uh, also in the Misicons, there's a hydro generator, which I do use to power the water pump for some of my fountains. So I'll have that, that in there. So that's going to do it. So like I said, um, in real life, I tend to lean towards uh, renewable energy sources such as solar and wind i think those are very cool and it's something that if we could just we have to solve the the energy storage problem i don't think batteries are going to be the way to to do this um we are so dependent on electricity and power that you know there are other ways that we could do it without having to rely on coal and nuclear you know, there's also hydrogen, which the byproduct is, uh, yeah, uh, hydrogen, which is the byproduct is water. So, but in the mind test world, you can create whatever you want. You can create a nuclear power plant. You can create uh, the, the solar and the hydro. 
there was a wind one, but you have to go into the configuration file and you have to uh, enable the wind. So that was another, that's another option I want to look into. But there you have it. The Secret Squirrel base has nuclear power now and solar. And there you go. So everybody uh, have a great day. And uh, until the next video, goodbye.